Welcome to Exercise Control. Uh, you join me here in Germany on a fairly brisk morning, currently minus one and a half degrees C. For those of you that are new to the channel, which let's face it, it's pretty much everyone, uh, this is basically advertising behind a company that I set up, a company I set up to combat uh, an issue that I was facing uh, when I moved out here uh, to Germany with the company I'm with at the moment. Um, I found pretty quickly that because of long working hours and lack of proximity to a gym, uh, my exercise, my fitness, my workouts went completely out the window. I went from doing fairly regular exercise uh, in the company I was with before daily uh, to doing virtually none, trying to fit in maximum sort of two sessions a week. My fitness took a, took a hit, my mental health took a hit, I was hating life uh, and for about a year this, this went on until I said enough's, enough's enough uh, and I decided to set up this business. Uh, so I've got a shipping container uh, from site, uh, gutted it out, fitted it out and put a load of gym equipment in. Very basic stuff, uh, basically because funding was tight, um, but it sorted the issue out. And I thought to myself, well, if I'm facing this issue within this industry, then many, many people, are, uh, other people are. So I uh, pushed out the membership scheme to the uh, shipping container gym I set up uh, and, and a load of people got involved. Uh, so a few people started joining as members uh, and I kind of realized that there might be something in this. But as I said, funding's poor. So how can I get it out of there? Let's start advertising. Let's start a channel. Let's have you guys join me on this journey to hopefully get this somewhere. Because um, at the moment, I hate my life in this job. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Uh, what I'll do is basically have you guys join me with my sort of general weekly workout activities uh, within within the gym. Um, and uh, I'll take you through my my usual sort of workout routine, which splits up into generally push-pull legs and then a more fitness, functional fitness related workout at the end of the week. Um, but today you're joining me on a pull day. Uh, so let's get to it, let's see what happens. Sit back, enjoy the ride and watch me crash this car. Here we go. Welcome to XCOM. Let's get started. First and foremost, got to get some heat in here. Turn the heaters on. Let's get some heat in here. Jeez. It is currently minus two degrees C. Nice and for us. This is the gym in all its glory. So what I try and do is start my workout with a bit of a warm up, uh, some double unders. I'll go for around 100 double unders just to get the juices flowing, uh, just to try and try and get myself in the zone, get myself motivated and get myself warm most importantly. Uh, so let's go for it. Got a bit of DMB playing in the headphones. So in general, what I'm gonna do is Keep a rep range between, I don't know, probably rep ranges between 12 to, to 16 or, or 10 to 16. Um, basically high rep range, 
aiming for that sort of hypertrophy range. Um, it's generally what I've been trying to do, trying to build build muscle, build endurance, that kind of stuff. Um, strength, yeah, it comes along with it for sure, uh, but I've dropped those days of doing three sets of six, that kind of stuff, Try and, trying to keep the, uh, the rep range a little bit higher. Cold. I'm going for these batteries keep on failing me because they're cold. But anyway, after having done my chin ups, in between each set, what I'll do is I'll go on a 200 meter run just to keep my blood going and keep the fitness up. I want to be functional and fit, strong and fit. Uh, so I try and run in between sets where I can or when I can uh, just to keep that level of fitness up. So that was a lot more difficult than I was expecting it to be. Uh, clearly, too many mince pies at Christmas. Uh, got a lot to do to work off that excess fat, and uh, clearly wasn't working out enough over the Christmas period. Had to move it inside because my GoPro keeps on piling and too cold outside. So move it inside uh, over onto isolated uh, upper back uh, movement. So I. Same, same sort of rep range between sort of let's say 10 to 16, usually 12 to 16. Uh, and normally, depending on how many sort of working sets I'm planning on doing uh, with the various exercises, I go from three sets to four sets. That's the sort of set range I'm, I'm doing. Let's see how this one goes. So, again, get myself quite high up on on the uh, bench, equal spacing apart for the hands. too light so I'll add some weight onto that. But most importantly after I've done this go on my 200 meter run. Nice fancy fives. So that's 200 meter run done. Just keep in line with the timing. In terms of timing for my sets, they're all recorded on the uh, on the watch. The splits I do is basically one minute on, and then one minute ten seconds rest. I've been thinking recently that's probably. A little bit too much time, uh, so I might reduce that down by 30 seconds or so. I'll progressively reduce it down by 10 seconds each time. So let's go for the next one. Heavy weight. Wouldn't be a pull workout if we didn't do a bit of bicep. Bicep is definitely one thing that's lacking in my 
physique, let's say. Uh, so I do need to focus on it. Um, so I will do an isolated uh, bicep exercise. But all I'll do is I'll do I'll do strip curls. So I have my back up against uh, the container uh, just to restrict my my flicking motion. I don't know if you can see that, but snow or sleep or what are they? Mixture between hail and snow, I suppose. Just so you know, I'm not being a bitch. Doing one more set just to finish off, and also finish with a, a finisher set with a lighter weight. Just eight kilos, but it's not a hell of a lot less than. And what's going on here? I mean, not hugely heavy. <sighs> rest now, run done. A bit of bubbly. Right. 
what I'm going to do here is an EMOM every minute on a minute for 10 minutes and I'm probably going to do five, I can't fucking remember what they're called, but cleaning jerks, I think they are. I don't know. My uh, technique's probably all over the shop. I'm not an Olympic lifter, but again, practice makes perfect, so might as well give it a shot. That's set one, going into set two. Music in. Fuck your cold baths. Ten seconds. Workout done. X con, baby. So another element of training you're probably wondering about is um, nutrition and supplements and all that kind of stuff. So in terms of nutrition, I try and go for as high a protein diet as possible. Basically trying to keep myself feeling satiated fueling muscle growth and all that kind of stuff, but also avoiding the need for sugars. High protein diet usually uh, prevents me from feeling the need to uh, eat sweet things. Um, so I eat a lot of boiled eggs and something cheap like that. So just keeping that done. In terms of supplements, currently I'm on zero supplements whatsoever. So no protein shakes, no creatine, uh, the most I do is, is caffeine, but that's from coffee. Uh, so I have, a, I have a cup of coffee before I go to the gym, if it's in the morning. Uh, if it's in the afternoon, post sort of two, three o'clock, I'll avoid uh, any caffeine, just because I want to be able to sleep. Uh, obviously sleeping is key to recovery. Um, but through this means I'll be interested in sort of experimenting with myself, experimenting with different, different supplements, I'm looking to start creatine again soon, so see how that uh, benefits me. I haven't, haven't touched creatine for probably close to a year now. Um, used to play havoc with my stomach, so I'm, I'm going to give it another shot and, and sort of dilute the dose uh, to make sure it doesn't have any impact on my stomach. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated with, uh, with my supplements, uh, and as I said, I'll, I'll experiment myself, see, see what what I can get out of uh, supplements, out of diet, uh, and, and see what kind of physiques I can produce. Uh, but most importantly, if you like the gym, buy one. You can help me grow the gym, improve the equipment, grow the business, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, but most importantly, that's me done.